News Channel's Tyler Butler gives us a first look at Starlink. It's never been easy for Oklahomans to convince their cable providers to run miles of line to get high-speed internet to a handful of customers. But Elon Musk's new Starlink plan eliminates those cables. Starlink deploy confirmed. Instead, they beam you high-speed internet from space. It's three instructions. Yeah, it's That's basically it. like, um, don't touch it and plug in these two boxes and then plug in power and then use your cell phone. John Sizemore of Skytook is an early Starlink adopter and even though he's just three miles outside of town, he has no high-speed internet options. I can't get Cox, but since I'm in Cox's area, they won't let Windstream move in, so I have no internet availability here. So there's a lot of people in this area that would probably be candidates for this. And not just outside of Skytook, many rural Oklahomans just don't have a high-speed option. Musk's vision of internet from space solves a lot of those problems. Above us right now are more than a thousand satellites, each weighing about 600 pounds, broadcasting internet back down to Earth. And that means that even if you were in the middle of that field, as long as you had power and a clear line of sight to the sky, you've got high-speed internet. Ignition and liftoff. Several more satellites launched just this morning, and SpaceX is working with the FCC to boost speeds. But already, Sizemore could have six different devices all streaming high-definition video with the speeds he's seeing now. I don't know how they're making this so fast. I don't know how they're getting the information up and back down with a latency of 30 milliseconds. Whatever the secret is, it could soon mean Oklahoma will have just as much high-speed internet access as anywhere else in the country. Tyler Butler, News Channel 8.